Hey, Todd Usher with Addison Homes, and today we're talking about one of the strategies we use to keep our heating and cooling ductwork inside conditioned space. So I'm outside one of our basement homes under construction. We're actually at the rough end phase. So at this phase is when we're installing the electrical, the plumbing pipes, and the heating and cooling ductwork. And in this particular house, and in most of our basement homes, we just have one story over a full basement. We're actually gonna zone each level of the home separately so the homeowners have the ability to control temperature separately on each level. But we want to keep all of the heating and cooling duct work inside the conditioned space of the home. In other words, inside the envelope that we've insulated and are heating and cooling. That way the ductwork doesn't have to work real hard to overcome, for example, the hot temperatures in a vented attic or the excessive humidity in a vented crawl space. So let's take a walk inside and we'll just take a look at how we accomplish keeping our ductwork inside conditioned space. If you look above me here, you will see ductwork inside the engineered floor trusses. That's one of the first key elements that we use to give space for the ductwork to run, open web floor trusses. So if you take a look at these floor trusses, they actually are two feet deep or 24 inches from the top to the bottom, which gives us ample space to run the heating and cooling duct work between the floors. And by running it between the floors, we're able to keep the duct work for both floors inside the condition space of the envelope. We build all of our homes to above code, high performance standards, one of those being the Department of Energy's Zero Energy Ready Home Standard, which requires that all of the heating and cooling duct work be inside the conditioned space of the home. It can be challenging if you don't have enough space, but with a lot of planning on the front end, we can design the duct system to fit within the floor system and for all of those ducts to be inside conditioned space. What does this mean for the homeowner? Well, the biggest thing is it means comfort and it means efficiency. So when that duct work doesn't have to overcome hostile conditions by being inside condition space, it's not gonna lose heat or gain heat because of the hostile environment that it's in, resulting in greater comfort in the home and greater energy efficiency overall. So as you look behind me, you can see up above the trunk line here, this large metal pipe that's running along the ducts. That's the main trunk for one of the zones. And then you'll see branching off of that trunk are the branch ducts that run out to each individual room. So it's a pretty simple approach to keep the ductwork inside condition space as long as you plan for it on the front end. And unfortunately in the building industry today, especially residential, there's not a lot of forethought and planning that goes into laying out the ductwork in most of our homes. The common practice is to put the ductwork up in the vented attic where it's gonna be 140, 150 degrees in the summer, or to stick it down in a vented crawl space where it's gonna be very humid and that ductwork is gonna sweat and probably get some mold and mildew growth on the exterior of the ductwork. But with enough planning and design on the front end, we can build an extremely efficient and healthy home that's gonna deliver the best indoor air quality and the greatest comfort to our homeowners. Mm -hmm.